Airdrops are one of the craziest things about the crypto space. Imagine just being an early adopter of a technology and then boom, $10,000 just appears in your wallet for free. I know this sounds stranger than fiction, but that's exactly what's happened multiple times in the crypto space. I've personally been the beneficiary of many airdrops like Uniswap, One Inch Exchange, ENS, and a lot more. Just because I've used these projects early and have been retroactively rewarded for doing so with just free crypto. So the key to getting one of these is actually starting to use things before they announce that they're going to airdrop. In this video, I want to talk about a project that that a lot of people think could do an airdrop or lots of other projects that are built on top of this could do an airdrop and what you need to know. I'm gonna talk about this as a blockchain developer works this technology on a daily basis and a multi-time airdrop recipient myself. So if you're on here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about a project that I think is prime for a crypto airdrop, and that's ZK Sync. All right, I'm going to explain what this project is in a minute, and actually I'm going to demonstrate how you can use it step-by-step -step on my screen to increase the likelihood that you'd be eligible for something like this. But let's just start off and say what it is. So ZK Sync is a layer two scaling solution built on top of Ethereum. One of the biggest complaints about Ethereum is it's too slow, it's too expensive to use for most people. So the answer to that is to create a second environment called a layer two, where you can do transactions on that. I'm going to show you how to use this layer two in this video. So ZK Sync is one of the leaders in this space. And there's lots of speculation that uh, they're going to airdrop a token. We don't exactly know how that's going to happen. There's no guarantee that you're going to get a cryptocurrency by going through these steps. But by watching this video, you're going to increase the likelihood that that's the case. And also, you're going to learn about how to use this because, you know, this is where all this stuff is headed. And just even this information to see how you do it's very valuable. All right, so let's talk about the possibility of a ZK Sync airdrop. So how have the other airdrops in the past worked that I've been a part of that I've helped other people get in? on. So basically, this looks like going and using a technology early, all right, just making some transactions. And then typically, when they do the airdrops, they snapshot uh, the blockchain for people who have done transactions on that based on certain set of conditions. And then they retroactively just give people tokens, you might have to go to a website and like pay a small fee to claim them. All right, but that's basically getting a lot of cryptocurrency for free. And so let's talk about a potential ZK Sync airdrop. So we've seen lots of different things floating around online where they used to have some language on their site talking about whether they're going to issue a token or not. And that language has since been removed. So we don't have an official statement out right now about whether they're going to issue a cryptocurrency token uh, or whether they're going to do an airdrop. But there's lots of reasons to think that this could happen, okay? And so how do you increase the likelihood that, that could happen? Well, you just go make some transactions like I was talking about. And so I'm going to demonstrate on my screen here in a minute how you can do that, how you can bridge funds from Ethereum Layer 1 over to ZK Sync to potentially be eligible for this. But let's talk about another possibility for airdrop, which is just different applications on top of uh, the ZK Sync ecosystems in and of themselves. So again, ZK Sync is a general purpose blockchain, uh, or layer two, I should say, that runs on top of Ethereum, works basically like a blockchain. And you can see different ones on top of here, like uh, Optimism, Arbitrum, ZK Sync, definitely leaders in the space. So these are general purpose, which means they're just blank slates that people can build applications on top of them. And so you can actually see the entire ZK Sync ecosystem here at ecosystems.zksync.io. And you can look at different apps. Okay, you can see which ones are live. You can see different support exchange for wallets. But essentially what you could do is you could use these applications applications because these might actually also have airdrops. Okay, so you could basically bridge some funds over to ZK Sync, make some transactions, use some applications because, you know, these protocols might have airdrops as early incentives to provide liquidity to the protocols or to just issue new cryptocurrencies in general to help distribute those cryptocurrencies initially. That's exactly what happened with the Uniswap airdrop, one inch exchange, ENS, and a lot more. All right. And so the strategy here is essentially to move some money onto layer two, okay, and then start using some of these applications. I don't exactly know which ones are going to do airdrops if they are. Okay. There's no guarantees here, but that's essentially the strategy. And so let's talk about how to do that. So, um, Essentially, the most pot common way is to use a bridge. This list means you need some cryptocurrency on Ethereum layer one itself and then bridge with this website, this mechanism that moves your funds from layer one to layer two. Now, in the future, we're likely to see uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, lots of different centralized cryptocurrency exchanges support uh, native withdrawals to layer twos like ZK Sync. We have a few lists on this website, but in terms of like major 
cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase, Binance. We don't have that support yet, but it's likely coming in the future as soon as you know we start to see which layer twos really gain traction and which ones are going to have support, exchange support. Um, that's at least my projection. And another thing is that you can actually use uh, ZK Sync directly with Argent. It's a mobile wallet that lets you onboard directly uh, to layer two with Ethereum and do that with low fees. But for now, what I'm going to do is just show you how to do it with the bridge, how to take your funds from Ethereum layer one up to layer two so that you can you know, potentially position yourself for airdrop, but also just so that you can see how amazing this is. Because again, ZK Sync is really fast. It's really cheap to use. And this is where, you know, the blockchain is headed in my opinion. And you're going to see the future of how most people are going to use consumer facing blockchain applications pretty soon. All right. So now I'm going to actually demonstrate using ZK Sync with one of the applications in the list here. So I'm just going to scroll down and find, uh, let's just see here, ZigZag Exchange. All right. It's not a sponsored video or anything. It's just a project I'm just going to click on uh, literally just to try this out. What I'm going to do is bridge some funds over and show you how to swap a token on this exchange. Okay. You could, you could apply this same methodology to different projects on here. I'm just going to pick one um, and, and demonstrate it. Okay. So make sure you watch this entire demo because, um, you know, you want to ensure that, you know, if you're going to put, put money on there, you need to see how to get all the money on there and then how to get it off. Okay. It's definitely don't do this with any money that you can't afford to lose in case something goes wrong in this process. Even if the technology is totally fine, um, you know, there's a potential that you might make a mistake. So just don't, don't, don't experiment with a lot of money here, but make sure you watch the entire demonstration before you try it. So the first thing we're going to do once we're on this page is click the bridge tab and we're going to move funds from the Ethereum mainnet over to ZK Sync testnet. All right. So the first prerequisite to using this is definitely to have a MetaMask wallet installed. Okay. You see, you'll see the little Fox icon up here in your browser if you've done that. All right. You also need some cryptocurrency in your wallet. Um, if you're doing this straight from the blockchain. Okay, so I'm using this bridge that we pulled up here. Uh, so you need to have some Ether in your wallet. Uh, you don't need very much the time recording this video. Luckily, the gas fees are down. So this is a great time to bridge uh, to layer twos and try those products. Okay, so just click connect wallet. All right, click MetaMask. And you're going to see that you're going to sign a message here. And so that's going to let you, you know, sign it so you can connect your wallet. All right. And then you need to pick some funds that you want to bridge. So I'm just going to do it with ETH. Okay. So let's look, just look for ETH. All right. And then I'm going to just uh, do like 0 0.05 ETH. Well, let's just do it's a little bit less. So 0 0.02 uh, ETH. All right. So I'm just doing. No, you, you do less, right? Just your point one, maybe it's a better amount. So uh, just a, just an easier amount to bridge. You could probably even do less, right? You get to pay a gas fee though. So click transfer. All right, you're gonna sign uh, a message here. Okay. So basically, it's gonna cost me a few dollars to bridge. All right. Um. So I'm just going to click confirm. All right. So I have successfully bridged, and I can see my. Uh, transaction receipt on Ethereum here. And so you can see that uh, it cost me about $15 to bridge at the time of making this video. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, dirt cheap, but it's not too bad. Okay, so again, there is that one-time cost from moving your funds from Ethereum to, you know, ZK Sync. All right, but that's how much it cost me to do this for 0 0.01 ETH, right? So that's just about 25 bucks. So you could probably even do less cryptocurrency than that. So let's say maybe for 25 bucks, you could run this experiment, but I just want to show you how you know, cheap it is and easy it is to make transactions on ZK Sync. So you can you know, start using applications on that ecosystem. All right. So now that I've actually bridged over, um, what I want to do is start using the ZK Sync network so you can see like how cheap this is and what the benefits are. Okay. So I'm just going to go to trade, uh, trade tab here. Okay. So I'm actually going to refresh this. Uh, this is going to probably ask me to connect. Uh, okay. You have to do a signature request. So basically, uh, we're just going to have to sign a message before we can use this. So this will require a one-time activation fee, All right? So there is a little fee associated with this, just so you get fully clear. So I'm going to click sign. All right. And now I can actually just go on, um, you know, this uh, page here on uh, ZKScan.io and check the activity. Okay, so I can actually, uh, I'm just still connected to the Ethereum mainnet here. But I can just copy and paste my address here and uh, just look up to see the activity. So you can see all the information here. You can see the account balance. All right. Uh, how much ETH I deposited initially in that last transaction has, which was just change public key, which is what you did on the exchange to essentially do the initial uh, deposit. All right. So now let's do a token swap. So I'm just going to do the ETH to USDC pair. Okay. I'm just going to click. Uh, let's see here. Let's do sell. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a 0 0.001. All right, that's just gonna be $2 in USDC. I'm just gonna use it as a test amount here. You know, click sell. I'm going to sign the transaction with MetaMask and it should be a signature request. Click sign. All right. And the transaction is basically confirmed instantly. That's what's so amazing about ZK Rollups. They're so fast and they're so cheap. And so if I go back to the transaction uh, receipt on the ZK Explorer, okay, you can see uh, that it, it worked. Basically, I, I just swapped $2 of cryptocurrency uh, for a really, really, really low fee, and it was, you know, confirmed really, really fast, okay? So if I literally just do the math on this, like how much is this in the Ether price right now? Um, it's basically 46 cents. I mean, it was an insanely cheap swap. And the crazy thing about this is this is can actually, scalability can actually improve over time. Um, so the, the thing you have to understand here is, you know, on layer twos, basically you pay the transaction fees in Ethereum cryptocurrency or Ether. That's what makes them such a game changer is you're using uh, the native cryptocurrency, the Ethereum blockchain. And then, uh, the layer two environment is actually, uh, you know, using Ethereum for its security underneath the hood. And you're going to use Ethereum cryptocurrency to pay the gas fees or Ether to do that. All right. So that was an insanely cheap, uh, you know, less than 50 cent transaction just to, just to swap, you know, a uh, stable coin around for some Ether. All right, so now let's talk about how to withdraw your funds from the L2 because, you know, you need to figure out how to get your money off, okay? So I'm going to go to wallet.zksync.io. So you could have optionally used this bridge um, in the previous step to get your funds onto the network, but I just want to show the application itself. So go to wallet.zksync.io. You can see my Ether balance in here, there's a USDC balance. And so what I'm going to do is actually uh, basically just take my funds off the network. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's see here, send, all right? And I'm going to do send to L2. Now, the really great thing about ZK Sync and one of the other powerful things is is how quickly you can withdraw your funds off the network. That's one of the big benefits of it, right? You can uh, take funds off quickly uh, with very few trust assumptions involved. And if you really want to geek out on this, you can essentially look at their documentation and see all the concepts for withdrawing funds. There's different ways of doing it. You can just sign a message on the layer two. Um, you can do a forced exit, you can do a full exit, and some of these are based upon, um, you know, different potential uh, risk issues with the layer two, okay? But for now, you can read through this if you want to, just check out the documentation. For now, I'm going to just do this basic withdrawal function, all right? So basically, I'm going to do send to Ethereum L1, and, you know, I'm going to use the recommendation of the documentation, which is just to send, you know, to sign the L2 transaction when you own the same account. If you're sending it to somebody else, maybe you want to do a different method, but if you own the same account on each one, all right, so basically, I'm just going to do the USDC for now. Uh, let's just do the ETH, actually. Let's just make it nice and easy. I'm just going to do max ETH. Okay, and then it's going to cost me a small fee. You have to pay this in order to get back on the Ethereum mainnet. So again, make sure you watch this entire demonstration before you do it so you can account how much money you might need to pay. So you're authorized to send on Ethereum. Click sign. All right, so now I'm going to click send to Ethereum. Okay, so I'm going to go through the I understand here. It says it says that you could take any between 30 minutes and 7 hours. I'm just going to click I understand. Okay, and then we'll watch it happen. We got to sign the transaction here. All right, and we're off to the races. All right, when that's finished, you'll see your transaction hash here. And whenever the ETH transaction is actually confirmed on the chain, you'll see it here. Okay. All right, so once you finally withdraw your funds, you'll see them inside your wallet on the main net. Okay. So now, I know there's a lot of people going to be watching this saying like, hey, that's still a long time to get your money off the layer two. That's one of the reasons that it watched this entire presentation before you try to do something like this. But I'll also, you know, kind of address some of that. You know, compared to other layer two scaling solutions, some take even longer, all right, to guarantee that your funds can withdraw. And you can do things to speed it up. All right, but those add additional trust assumptions. And the other thing I'll say here is that this problem actually can get improved over time. There's lots about layer twos that can actually get better with different changes that are coming down the pike for the layer twos themselves and also Ethereum. This is really just an early version of where we're headed with all this. And so lastly, the thing I'll say about this is that we're going to see lots of cryptocurrency exchanges most likely start to support layer two uh, withdrawals and deposits. At least that's one of the things we really need to start seeing these ecosystems flourish. We can already see a couple different cryptocurrency exchanges, centralized exchanges, that is, uh, on this list here. You can have a go check those out. You can also see different wallets that support it straight out of the box, like Argent, like I was talking about. Uh, earlier in this video. All right, so that's an introduction to ZK Sync, why it's such a game changer and how to use it. Again, this is one of the leaders in the layer two scaling space for Ethereum. 
I think that layer two is going to be huge for the entire Ethereum c- ecosystem long term. It's sort of the final vision for where Ethereum's headed is to build this multi layer blockchain approach. And there's a very likely future where people, you know, just take their funds directly onto layer twos and never end up withdrawing them back to mainnet with the fast and cheap experience that you've seen in this video that's actually even going to get better as these rollups become more scalable the more people use them. And if you get on the network early, you know, you might be primed for an airdrop. We don't know exactly if that's going to happen or not, whether it's going to be on the network itself or through different applications that are on there that have early incentives. But either way, you know, you've gotten on early, you've seen how to use it to position yourself for that or just to get yourself ready for the future where this technology is headed about how we can use blockchain technology just like this in the future. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at the technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you to become a blockchain master step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.